To install the Metasploit 6 in Termax, I need you to watch the full video and follow the steps carefully. In order to install Metasploit in Termax, you need a newly installed Termax application on your Android device. I assume that you do not have Termux installed in your mobile device. If you have it, please uninstall the application first. Else, Metasploit is not going to update its repositories with newly fixed dependencies. Now, let's install Termux on our Android device. Open your favorite browser and search for F-Droid. Click on first link, scroll down and download the F-Droid APK. Downloading has been started. I already have installed F-Droid application in my device. Let me open the F-Droid app store and wait for some time until it gets updated. It will take some time to update the repositories as it will try to identify your device first so that we can get the recommended apps to install. Be patient and do not close the application or turn off the internet. F-Droid has been successfully updated. Now in the right hand side at the bottom you can see a search icon. Click on that and type Termux and hit enter. Now scroll down and click on Termux terminal emulator with packages and hit on install button. Termux has been installed on our Android device. Click on the Termux application to launch the Termux terminal in Android. It will take few seconds to install bootstrap packages. Now let me zoom the Termux terminal for a better view. After installing the Termux you need to update and upgrade your Termux emulator to install the latest packages and dependencies supported by Termux version 118. Please watch this portion carefully as this portion is required to be performed correctly. If you skip this portion, you may not be able to update your Termux on Android in a standard way. The first thing you need to ensure is we should never use apt update to update our Termux application for the first time. pkg update, pkg upgrade is recommended by Termux. Now the crucial thing. Please read carefully. You can see that it says the default option is N. It means if you are going to hit enter it will ignore the update and move further. So always make sure when you are trying to update your Termux please press capital Y and press enter. It will update your outdated dependencies with the latest one which will help us to fix most of the errors with Termux Metasploit 6. You do not have to install Ruby 3, OpenSSL or anything manually. It's already there in Termux updated packages. To download the Metasploit binaries in Termux, you need to install wget curl in Termux. So far, we have updated, upgraded and installed wget and curl. Now, I'm going to show you how to provide storage permission to the Termux. Type the same command I'm showing to you on the screen. Please click on allow. To verify if permission has been added, you need to check whether you can get inside the SD card directory or not. So yes. So it's confirmed that we have successfully provided storage permission to our Termux. Now get back to the browser again and search for the link GitHub EFX TV. Click on the repositories, scroll down and click on Metasploit in Termux.
scroll down and you will notice that we have provided all the requirements to install Metasploit 6 in Termux. We already have updated and installed curl and wget. Now copy the very last line and paste it in your Termux. Do not skip the video because I will explain you each and everything. Copy and paste the command in Termux and hit enter. This command will call the official Metasploit repository and install it in our Termux. It can take some time. Now you can see that Metasploit 6 for Termux cloning has been started. Metasploit 6 in Termux installation has been started. Now the script is installing all the required gems. It can take up to 20 to 30 minutes. Please ensure that you should not lock your screen. Turn off your mobile device. Turn off your mobile data or switch between different applications while installing the Metasploit 6 in Termux. It will help you to avoid all the unnecessary errors during Metasploit installation. Metasploit 6 has been installed in Termux. Let's run the MSF console. The first startup can take some time. Don't worry. We are going to fix this problem. Scroll up and you will see that this error belongs to unsupported OpenSSL. Do not skip the video as I am going to explain the functions behind command we are going to use to fix all the errors in Metasploit 6 with Termux. This command will let you in Metasploit framework directory present in home directory and create a soft link for newly installed MSF Venom and point it to the bin directory where Termux used to keep all the executables. In some older devices, you may be able to execute the MSF console after this, but in my case, I'm using Android 11 and I have still the same error. The final step would be the command shown on the screen. Please ignore everything as said is a programming language which helps you to manipulate or change the text string for you. Again try to run MSF console. 
please subscribe our channel if it is working for you. Here you can see Metasploit 6 in Termux is absolutely fine and working for me. I hope it's working for you as well. Subscribe to our channel and join our telegram group to get access to daily live conversation on Linux tips and tricks. So this was it for the day. I hope it worked for you. Take care of yours. Have a great time ahead.